Six Flags Fiesta Texas is a theme park located on approximately 200 acres of land in San Antonio, Texas, USA. It is owned by Six Flags. Six Flags Fiesta Texas is the major entertainment component of USAA's La Cantra, a 1,600-acre master plan development in northwest San Antonio. La Cantra means rock quarry in Spanish and refers to the former use of the property on which the development sits. History equals Beckman Quarry equals, in 1934 the McDonnell family started the Beckman Quarry. Eventually it would encompass almost 1,400 acres, and is still an active production behind the Rim Shopping Center. The portion where Fiesta Texas is located was mined out in 1988 and the equipment relocated to another portion of the mine. Equals development and construction equals, the original development team consisted of property owner USAA Real Estate Company, a subsidiary of the USAA Insurance Company, and Gaylord Entertainment Company, which owned the now closed Land USA theme park in Nashville, Tennessee. The original concept for Fiesta Texas was defined as a destination market, musical show park similar to that of Opryland. The primary focus on southwestern music and culture rather than rides would be the unique element that would set the park apart from its competition. When the initial ownership group began investigating a possible major theme park development in San Antonio, Texas, they faced significant competition in the Texas market. There were similar established Six Flags parks in Arlington and Houston as well as the nearby Sea World of Texas, which opened in 1988. Based on the competition, the development team believed the opportunity in San Antonio was there and that the stable, slow growth direction of the theme park industry in the U.S. was in their favor. Actual construction of the theme park took approximately 23 months, running from early 1990 to the park's opening in March 1992. Construction of the theme park was overseen by a joint venture of two general contractors, Lido Incorporated of San Antonio and Manhattan Construction Company of Tulsa, Oklahoma. The park had four theme sections. Crack Axle Canyon, Lust Festivals, Sparsburg, and Rockville, with the water park all water and hall. Equals Fiesta Texas era equals, in 1994 Fiesta Texas added a new section, Fiesta Bay Boardwalk, with rides and attractions, and a new event, a Lone Star Christmas during the winter months. In 1995, the park opened a Scriamina Euro unregistered trademark Sky Coaster in the Fiesta Bay boardwalk. Gaylord Entertainment managed and was a minority owner of Fiesta Texas, with USAA Real Estate Company as the majority owner. Although attendance at the park met initial projections, Fiesta Texas was a money loser. After losing $16 million on the theme park in 1995, Gaylord sold its 14% stake back to USAA. Equals Six Flags equals. In 1996, Time Warner took over management and operations of Fiesta Texas and added the Six Flags name to the park, while USAA remained as the sole owner. Premier Parks, which acquired the Six Flags theme park chain from Time Warner, purchased Fiesta Texas from USAA in 1998. Time Warner era, Time Warner which saw the opportunity to advertise and promote the company's movies and characters through the Six Flags parks, added The Joker's Revenge, a Vakuma hurricane that ran backwards, for the 1996 season. Then for the 1997 season, Fiesta Texas added its fourth roller coaster Road Runner Express a Euro a family mine themed coaster. 1997 was also the last season for the event Alone Star Christmas. Time Warner operated the park until the middle of the 1998 season and introduced the Hopkins Super Flim Bugs White Water Rapids, themed to the Looney Tunes cartoon episode Nighty Night Bugs. Premier Era Premier Parks purchased Six Flags from Time Warner and Boston Ventures on April 1, 1998, giving Premier Parks the management contract to the park. The new management company brought two new rides during the 1998 season Dare Twister and Frisbee. In October of that year, Premier Parks purchased Fiesta Texas from the La Cantera Development Company USAA giving the company complete ownership of the park. In 1999, 
Fiesta Texas saw the biggest expansion ever with around 13 new rides water rides and two new coasters, Boomerang Coast to Coaster and Poltergeist. 1999 was the first year that the park won the Amusement Today Golden Ticket Award for Best Shows. The water park, All Water in Hull, was renamed Armadillo Beach. For the 2000 season, the park was supposed to opening two new coasters Superman, Krypton Coaster Abolager and May Billard Flawless Roller Coaster and Boardwalk Canyon Blaster Azira Roller Coaster, but only Superman, Krypton Coaster was constructed and opened. Boardwalk Canyon Blaster was delivered to the park, but never assembled. It was shipped to another Six Flags managed park Warner Brothers. Park Madrid in 2001 the park won another Golden Ticket Award for Best Shows for a second year in a row. For the 2001 Euro 2005 seasons, the park added new shows each and continued to garner the Golden Ticket Award for Best Shows. New attractions included Tempest and Turbo Bungie in 2001, Scooby-Doo! Ghost Blasters, The Mystery of the Haunted Mansion in 2002, a new nighttime show Lone Star Spectacular, and Tornado for the Water Park. The park also removed smaller rides throughout the seasons and the coaster The Joker's Revenge that was SBNO during the 2002 season was later removed and relocated at Six Flags New Orleans for the 2003 season where it operated as the Jester. Shapiro Era On November 22, Red Zone, led by Daniel Snyder announced it had gained control of the Six Flags board. Kyron Burke was removed on December 14 and replaced by former ESPN employee Mark Shapiro as CEO of Six Flags. For the 2006 season, Fiesta Texas got the biggest expansion for the water park with three new water ride slides, a kids' area, new entrance and shop, along with a new name a Euro White Water Bay. Before the start of the season, the Chance Wipeout and Tempest were removed. In 2007 and 2008, Six Flags Fiesta Texas introduced two new coasters Tony Hawk's Big Spin, a Xlower Spinning Roller Coaster, and Goliath, a Bolliger and May Billard Inverted Roller Coaster. Tony Hawk's Big Spin was installed in the same location as the Joker's Revenge and utilized a portion of the same walkways leading to the queue. Goliath was relocated from Six Flags New Orleans, where it was known as Batman the Ride it is located at the front of the park next to the entrance. Also for the 2007 season, the park reopened its holiday event for the winter months but with the standard Six Flags event name Holiday in the Park. For the 2009 season, Fiesta Texas debuted the new kids' area, Wiggles World, the first children's theme area at Fiesta Texas, themed after the kid sensation group, the Wiggles. Wiggles World replaced the former Sparsburg kids' area. 2009 was the first year since 1999 that the park did not receive the Golden Ticket Award for Best Shows. Weber Anderson Era Six Flags officially emerged from bankruptcy protection on May 3, 2010, and announced plans to issue new stock on the New York Stock Exchange. Amid suspected disagreements regarding the future of the company with the board, Shapiro left the company and Al Weber, Jr. was brought in as interim president and CEO. Six Flags announced that Jim Reed Anderson would replace Weber and become chairman, president and CEO on August 13, 2010. In late 2010, Six Flags began the process of removing license theming from attractions. They terminated several licenses including their licenses with Tony Hawk and the Wiggles. Tony Hawk's Big Spin was renamed and rethemed to Pandemonium and Wiggles World was rethemed to Kidsopolis, all in time for the 2011 season. In 2011, Six Flags Fiesta Texas premiered Lone Star Nights, a new fireworks and laser light show. The revamped show opened in the summer of the 2011 season and featured brighter lasers and new projections to tell the story of the history of Texas. The park's Zaragoza Theater was renovated and debuted a new show, Ovation A Euro a compilation of hits from popular Broadway shows. For 2012, Fiesta Texas introduced Sky Screamer a 200-feet fun-time star flyer, that would saw riders in a 98-foot circle at speeds of 43 miles per hour, which opened in the spring of 2012. 
also for 2012 as country chart toppers a new show that would be located in the Sundance Theatre and the park would be celebrating the 20th anniversary in 2012. A January 2012 interview with Rocky Mountain Construction conducted by the Spokane Journal of Business revealed plans for Rattler to be completely refurbished in 2013 with new track and trains in a manner similar to the Texas giant at Six Flags over Texas. On July 9, 2012, Six Flags Fiesta Texas announced the last chance to ride the Rattler is August 5, 2012, before it closes. On August 30, 2012, Six Flags announced that Six Flags Fiesta Texas will be adding Iron Rattler for the 2013 season. It will be a revamp from the original Rattler, with steel track, new trains, a new layout, and featuring the first of its kind barrel roll on a hybrid coaster. Also the park introduced Gunslinger, a 187 feet funtime slingshot in 2013, which was built where Wagon Wheel was located. On August 29, 2013, Six Flags officially announced the addition of Bahama Blaster and expansion to Whitewater Bay for the 2014 season. Bahama Blaster slide complex with feature four body slides with drop capsules where the floor drops below. Two of the slides are looping and the other two are free fall. The six story water slide complex will be located in a newly expanded area of Whitewater Bay along with several new rides and amenities. Rides and attractions. The six themed areas of the park are Los Festivals, Crack Axle Canyon, Sparsburg, Rockville, Fiesta Bay Boardwalk, and Kids Upolis. Equals current roller coasters equals. Equals current rides and attractions equals. Equals future attractions equals. Equals former roller coasters and attractions equals. Live entertainment. Six Flags Fiesta Texas has featured numerous forms of in-park entertainment throughout its history. During its early years to this day, the park has kept to the theme of the show's to location of the theater, such as Roadhouse Country at Sundance Theater in Crack Axle Canyon and the former Rock Inn at Rockville High Show at the Rockville High Theater in Rockville. Guests of the park are welcomed by a wide array of characters and performers all throughout the park such as characters from the Looney Tunes universe to the superheroes of DC Comics. From 2009 to late 2010, another brand of characters from the Wiggles would also greet guests in the park in, before Six Flags had dropped the license to carry on the brand. Fiesta Texas a Euro unregistered trademark is known for best shows in America, and was awarded by Amusement Today for the Golden Ticket Award for a Euro Oebis theme park shows in the county Euro for the 10 straight years and continue to rank one of the best. Several of the shows have won individual awards like a Euro OE Best Sports Show of 2005 inches and Best Show with a production value of $25,000 a Euro $50,000. Annual Events Six Flags Fiesta Texas hosts a number of events for different holidays all throughout the operating season that often draw thousands of visitors to the park, the two most notable are. Fried Fest takes over the park with ghouls and monsters that wanders around the park for the Halloween season. From thrills by day to fright by night, the park hosts themed live shows, scare zones, and haunted houses. Holiday in the Park transforms the park during the Christmas season with millions of different lights scattered throughout the park. From Santa Claus to themed rides such as Frosty's Skating Rink. Started as Lone Star Christmas in the 1990s before the cancellation of the event after the 1997 season, but was reinstated for the 2007 season and years to come as Holiday in the Park. References External links Official website Six Flags Fiesta Texas at the Roller Coaster Database